For the past few months, Portsmouth Cathedral has been undergoing some extensive repairs. As well as structural works to walls and roofing, a more decorative but no less important element of the church is getting a revamp. The cathedral's weather vane, known as the Golden Bark, has sat atop the cupola for more than 300 years, becoming a welcome sight for homecoming Portsmouth ships. The bark is, is one of these symbols, I think, of, of the city of Portsmouth. I mean, the cathedral's been here for 800 years. Um, and the bark itself uh, has been you know, there in over 300 years, about 1710 or so. And it was one of these symbols that you know, uh, sailors and mariners coming into the city would have seen. And I think today, uh, you know, people especially who come and visit old Portsmouth, they, they see that ship. And um, it's just so nice to see it being restored again and, and hopefully putting another lease of uh, life and service for many years to come for people to enjoy. A landmark to mariners and residents of the port city. Over the years, the Golden Bark has gained an almost mythical status. Legend has it that when the old bark was brought down for repairs, mothers from around the city would gather and place their babies inside it. It was believed that this was good luck and would stop their children from dying at sea. The original bark was blown down in the 1950s and a replacement erected. The last major restoration of the current bark took place in 1969 and I got to meet the man who did them. 93-year-old, lifelong Portsmouth resident, Reg Morris. He says that Pompey sailors pointed out a critical problem with the weather vane. It was pointing the wrong way when the wind blew. The sailing club got in touch with the architect and said when the wind was blowing, the ship was off course. The weather vane. And could they extend the scaffold up and put that right? Well, the scaffold was extended. And now it was chosen to go out there and see what problem it was. And there was a simple thing that the flag had got blown just off straight. And uh, it took about two minutes to put that right. But I told Mr. Mason that I'd hold up to strut it up to stop it from happening again once we took the scaffold down. And that's what, how it all came about. And then when I got to here, it was being brought right down in the cathedral. I was rather anxious, but I'm right and see if the struts that I put on 47 years ago were still there. If I hadn't have done that, all the ships would have been piling up, <laughs> piling up our, up our, all on top of one another. <laughs> so I did something right. Reg's repairs have survived Portsmouth winds until this day and will continue to be a part of the reinforced and newly regilded bark. You know, it's so different to be standing up there with, um, working on it and all the regilt. It's a beautiful thing now. And I'm just as even glad to see that what I did is still there. Didn't need altering it. The golden bark will go back onto the cupola for residents and sailors to enjoy once again, when repairs to the cathedral are complete in early 2016. Charlotte Beredney, that's Solent.